everyone. Uh, this is James, and welcome back to another Shimwrecker review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Greta Grip's Idol Synergy. Uh, this released on Black Friday 2020, uh, joins the other idols in the HP3 line. Brings a pretty familiar cover stock. This one is E-Trax Hybrid Reactive, so it's a little bit different. Um, and the same icon core as the other idols. Uh, it's very low RG, very high differential symmetrical core. Very, very rolly, smooth. It's been a mainstay uh, core in tournament bowlers arsenals for pretty much since it came out. Uh, feels like you can't flick a booger in a PBA paddock without hitting four or five idols. So it's a very reliable uh, series, especially for the tournament bowler, and I think this one is going to be another entry into that. So looking at the shots that I'm throwing here, I'm testing on a uh, pretty high volume challenge pattern at Triad Lanes in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, you can see the synergy looks pretty clean and pretty smooth. Um, a little bit of this is due to the pin down layout that I have online. Um, that was just kind of looking for a little bit of a different shape, a little bit of a different feel for my other shiny symmetrical pieces. Um, it's also, this was the part that caught me out a little bit, is the cover stock doesn't seem to be super duper responsive. It does still pick up and go on friction, but it's a smooth rolly transition and not a... Uh, not a very sharp and punchy one like what you might see from uh, something like, say, an Astrophysics or the new Rubicon UC2 that comes out later this week. Um, this control kind of brings it into a little bit of a different usage window. Um, and you can see here as we bring in some comparison shots of my pinned down Rubicon, um, they actually feel really, really similar to each other. Um, just the only difference I really saw was... The Rubicon felt a pinch more defined in the mid lane, which I'm attributing um, to the asymmetry in the core of the Rubicon, and also a little more traction in oil. Um, that's just due to uh, E-Trax Solid versus E-Trax Hybrid and the surface preparations. So these actually feel, um, and I did not expect this when I did this test, but the Rubicon and the Synergy really feel like they could, like one of those will be in play on a lot of conditions. And it's just a question of how much traction you need in the first 30 feet of the lane. And then once you're past that, you'll get a very familiar response from both of them down lane. Um, as far as where I see this fitting in my bag, um, if I were to carry it with me, it would be in a kind of keep it in front of me a little more type of ball, but one where I don't want it to hook super early. So for example, if I'm throwing a phase two and I like how smooth it is down lane, but it's just seeing the fronts a little bit too much, but I don't want to get forced into really open angles with something like a Rubicon UC2 or a, my uh, trend, then I could potentially grab my idle synergy and just get, keep my angles a little more in front of me, um, keep the ball in play a little bit more, which is able to be done due to that slow response uh, down lane to friction. Uh, but it still seems to go through the pins pretty well as long as there is some of that friction up there. So that's kind of, that's how I see this fitting in an arsenal. It's not a ball that I admittedly need all that much, but when I need it, this ball has been very, uh, very much up to the task and it actually thrives on friction a lot more than I thought it would. So as always, um, definitely let me know if you have any questions. This ball is available now from your nearest pro shop. So uh, we'll see y'all out on the lanes and good luck and good bowling.